Hi everyone and welcome to Calm Creations Craft Tube Floss Tube. So today is Thursday the 6th of July and late last night the first prompts dropped for the Roxy's Journal of Stitchery Volume 4 Treasure Hunt. Um, so that's very very exciting and what I thought I'd do today is just find um, what I want to do for that prompt. So the prompt is um, monogram or initials or label. Um, so I've come up with a few ideas of what I want to do. My page is all ready. So I'll show you what I've got. Um, so this is my cover so far, which you've probably already seen. Um, I've added a few more bits and pieces. I've added a, he a hexagon. Um, I crocheted a little flower, um, little bits of stitching. So this isn't finished, so I can go back and add to this all the time. And then I have done my first page. So let me just put it all back together so you'll see how it all works so that goes there I've added all of the um, the batting that's going to go in between so that's going to go there that will go there and then that's that so it's going to be quite a fat little book <clears throat> which I think is just cool so when you open it you're going to have that's going to be the inside cover. That's going to be all covered. Then there's going to be like a cover page, a title page. And then there will be page one, which is over here. So I've invisible stitched all of that down. So that is ready to go. And then the same with all the other pages. I've just got to do them as I go. So each prompt is two weeks. And so yes, the first one is monogram or initials. So what I've done is I've done a little, um, I'll zoom you in a little bit, I've done a little monogram piece that I may use but then I thought maybe I could cross stitch something um, and stick that on. So that that's a possibility. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the cross stitch. Um, and what I've found is in one of my books is this book here. Hang on, I'll zoom you back out again. The big book of cross stitch, fabulous projects and creative ideas. But in this one is alphabets. So I'm thinking I may stitch the T. Um, do I want to do the T and the R? Or I could do my initials, which is T S M R. I don't know. Um, but I thought I could cross stitch that on white Ada um, and stitch that into the book. Um, or now, a million years ago, so just let me move that out of the way because we don't need that. Um, you know, back at when you're in school, you had the Lucky Book Club, and that's what we used to call it, and I think it was every, I don't even know how often it was, but um, it was a book catalogue system where you could, you get a catalogue and you'd look through it and you'd take it home to your parents and mum I want this book and they'd put in a little envelope the money and you'd order your book and then it felt like forever coming back but you'd get, when the books were delivered back to school, you'd get your little book pack. Um, I got this book, this isn't my original one, I don't know what happened to mine but I found this one a while ago in the op shop and um, this was my one of my most treasured books when I was at school um, and it's all the letterings this belonged to somebody else um, all different design ideas I mean it's well loved it's they've pulled pages out so that they can 
Um, but th these kind of books would be great to have a go at um, doing some sort of monogram. And then there were the companions that came. I think one of these is actually my original. I don't know. I think it was this one. I didn't write my name in it, but um, yeah, this one's the calligraphy. So these could be used for that type of thing as well. Um, but I'm thinking I may cross stitch my piece and um, add it in, but then I can still use. Where did it go? I can still use that, uh, this for another page. It's only a small piece, so I can embroider that and add that in maybe somewhere else. Um, so what I will do, I think I will cross stitch. Um, I will get set up for that, and I will be right back. Right, back again. Now, let's, um, I'm thinking I'm going to use this variegated pinky ready colour. Um, I think this will be nice. Where are scissors? And we'll do some stitching. I think I'll just do one strand. Um, because it's variegated, so see how we go with that. <clears throat> Okay, now, oh, lost my tail. A little knot on the other end. That might be a good place to start. And then I will come down here. I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see. And I'll just start over here if I can oh yeah that'll be nice so yes it was very exciting waiting for that video last night of the new prompt. So there's going to be some beautiful pieces popping up. All these monograms and names and all sorts of wonderful things being created. So this, being so small, shouldn't take too long to, to stitch up. And then I can uh, attach it to my page and then embellish with buttons and beads and all sorts. So what I might do is pause you here, stitch all of this, and I will be back. Okie dokie, I am done stitching my little monogram. So I've just gone with the T. Um, so hang on, let me put that down there and I'll zoom in so you can, can see it a bit better. So that's it there. Now I will put it up against my page and see how that looks. So I'll just zoom you back out again. Hang on a minute. Oh, wrong way. Okay. So. In my book. Let's move that over. Can I see that? Yep. Okay. 
So that can go in there somewhere. Oh, I'm excited to get decorating now. So I will leave it at that for today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stitch that down and I'm going to decorate my red page. And actually it's not it for today. I'll do some of that and then I'll come back and show you what I've done. Okay, back soon. Okay, so I've got my little um, monogram stitched on. So let me show you that. I've just done running stitch all the way around the outside. So now it is time to decorate my red page. I've got in my project box here um, all the bits from um, the cover. So I've got some red ribbon, my thread, some buttons, some hexes, I can make a little yo-yo and stitch that on and get the red page finished. So that's the prompt part done. Um, and I will carry on and I will see you all again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Talk soon. Bye.